Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to our September 29th episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. Again, another successful uh, day for me because I'm able to review uh, early in the afternoon. So this is uh, something I'd like to start um, moving forward. I want to do this at a much earlier time so that we get to study and uh, prepare for tomorrow's market performance as early as now. And um, this is, by the way, Miss JD. If this is your first time to visit our my channel, I uh, do stock market insights. I review stocks from the Philippine market, sometimes in the U.S. market as well. It depends. If you would like to request that, just drop a comment because I go through each one, and those are the ones I prioritize for any given day. And um, if you have not subscribed yet, I am inviting you to smash that subscribe button and then the notification bell beside it so that you're always updated whenever I have new videos, okay? So, looks like a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of us here are, again, happy today because some of our stocks are indeed uh, soaring high, you know. Let's see. Let's check them out one by one. In the meantime, for the, uh, for the index, as you can see, we're st still staying flat here um, below the MA20 line. So we were correct in our insights yesterday that the MA20 is currently acting as a resistance. And true enough, it is still um, doing so in uh, this day's performance. However, uh, what's interesting about this is that it has flatlined at the uh, 5841 level. Um, let us see if it'll just stop there and then do a rebound right after. Looks like it is starting to create that um, support level in this key area. So uh, this being what, fourth day or fifth day touching this level. So I'm just plotting it there just in any case it bounces at that area. Um, if that happens, then it looks like it will now create a higher low in this case. However, it breaks, you know, where the next stop is, guys. The next stop is right at the um, 5,712 level. Uh, reason being is we, we saw this and this one as well. That will act as your support. So in the meantime, I'm plotting it here because today we ended again at the same area, which is the 5,841 level. Okay, so note that this is the index. There are so many stocks in the index, and so we have to do a deep dive on each one because that really um, influences the uh, performance of, you know, of our stocks, not the index. Let's go ahead and uh, check out uh, some of the stocks you guys have requested. This one over here, well, I'd like to um, give a special shout out to our uh, friends over here who dropped by and, uh, you know, shared some comments. Uh, Pedro Bulones also uh, dropped by here. He's a, a YouTuber too. He has 13,000 subscribers as you can see here. Good job. I wish I could reach that um, that number of subscribers soon with your support, guys. Uh, Galing Miss JD, God bless Pusenia. Thank you. Uh, Marco, Marco requested these stocks. Um, I got you covered, Marco. I'm already adding that on our list today. Uh, Benjamin Jodoro, always very consistent here in our channel. Thanks, sir, for dropping by and also requesting. I have that. And ML, ML said, uh, thank you, ma'am, for including Meg. Yes, definitely. And early, Lemuel said, early bird and perky review. Makita na mo kayo sa dito, Ms. JD. I'm happy for you. Sana tuloy-tuloy mga gains natin lahat. Okay, so I also read these comments yesterday. So let's get started. I know you are excited to see how your um, individual stocks perform. Let's start with um, APVI. By the way, this is just the first part, guys. I definitely will record another one uh, by tonight. So uh, just go ahead and drop a comment, okay? For APVI, we are still... S oh, I... Hmm. This is not looking good because it's starting to trigger actually it, it this support the support of this um, stock was already broken like last week in fact around thursday yeah september 25th was um, the um, 
or September 28th, that was when it was broken. So yesterday was the first trigger and it persisted today. So I'm thinking uh, we have to be extra careful because we don't have a bottom here. That means anything can happen. It can be very deep. We don't know yet. And uh, unless it will show some stabilization, for instance, it will stop at the same area and for several days it, it creates a support there, then that's the time we can see and say that, uh, that indeed is a support. But right now, there is no bottom for this stock. So anything can happen. It could go all the way down, but really hope not. Okay. Right now, I'd be very conservative. If you already, um, you might have entered here and your objective is just to trade this stock, I suggest cut your loss early because this is triggering some more uh, bearish sentiment in the coming days. ACEX. ACEX also not looking good here. Uh, partially, uh, part of the body of the candlestick has triggered the low, no, the MA20 line. Also, it has created a lower high. Do you see that? This one over here. It has created a lower high. So just be extra careful because um, this could be a slight overshoot at the MA20 la level. And uh, maybe we can be um, just stabilizing in the area however if tomorrow there's a you know there's some more um, dips then uh, it could drop up to this level in the meantime i'm just plotting it there just in case there's this is just a slight overshoot below the ma20 because it can also happen like this one there's a slight overshoot but it recovered really uh same day so 5.83 right now is what i'm looking at um the c very unstable yet there could be some more declines here but since we're just right at the ma20 line we could be stabilizing at that level before it takes off again overall let's see how how deep we are yeah we have dropped so much and hopefully um you know it will just respect this but if i'm to look at this this was back in march so it might also take some time before it, it continues to move higher but overall, if you're going to look at it, you know, the much longer time frame, uh, longer uh, horizon, uh, it's still following that. Uh, it created a higher low at this point. So uh, in case it drops, there's a big chance that it could revisit here as well. If this gets broken. Okay, does that make sense? If it breaks and it drops here, it still is respecting this uptrend channel. Next one is PHA. PHA still flatlining. We're still uh, moving sideways. Not much volume, so I'm not expecting any big movements in the coming days. We're already at the yeah 51 level, so hopefully it'll start to uh, create that momentum. In the meantime, you're at a very constricted Bollinger Band, so um, it might take some time. Like what's happening right now, it takes a little while before it, uh, you know, move uh, either or to the upside or below that. Uh, but the moment, okay, the moment it triggers the upper band or the lower band, that will uh, determine the next possible action there. Like what happened here? After it triggered the upper band, movement happened. Um, yeah, we just need volume. 51 trades for the day, not much. It won't really move that much if you have that kind of volume there. Another interesting move for east-west here. It managed to cross the MA20 line with a solid green candlestick. So um, another stock to closely watch out and monitor. Uh, let us put our support currently at, at the MA20 level, which is eight at around 817. We can use that, or 814. Yeah, right at the MA20. That's what I'm seeing. So this is a good candlestick that we have here. It's a it's a bullish sentiment that we have at the moment. And our RSI is already above 50, so that's a good sign. At the same time, if you're a long-term investor, this has also dropped big time. And uh, hopefully, the next movement is it will support uh, this green candlestick, in which I am 80% positive the next candlestick here is going to be green fni 
F and I, uh, so we've been climbing up steadily, respecting the MA20, right? And then all of a sudden it broke the MA20 and starts to trigger the lower Bollinger Band. So at this point, I'd be um, a little bit, um, you know, on the conservative side. I'll stay on the sidelines for now for this stock because people are still taking profit. And um, I'd say the next area to watch out and monitor would be around 1.07. I see a support at that area, 107 to 106, um, because you see this, um, there were days when it um, dropped at the same level. There was also a resistance here. So it's an area, it could be a little higher or lower. So you can also do a Fibonacci retracement where you plot the lowest point here and then to the highest point over here. Okay, so the area where we plotted it is very close to the 1.03 level, 1.382 area. So those are uh, your key levels because see, the first area where it could potentially bounce was actually broken. So we might see it dropping some more and the next uh, area to closely monitor would be this level, 1.03, based on our Fibonacci retracement tool. So it's just, uh, you know, chill for now. Probably find another stock where you see much promising or more promising movement. Uh, this one too is the same. Um, this has already climbed the... Um, significantly and then people are starting to take profit and uh, slowly it is triggering the lower band and also you have a gap here that has to be filled and slowly it is trying to revisit that key area and um, I'm anticipating that movement because um, of this gap so check out what happens around the 2.80 first and see if it will stabilize it if it will it will stabilize at that level. Otherwise, um, we'll talk again once uh, it reaches 2.80. Don't forget to drop a comment. Request for this stock so we can closely monitor it. Okay. So for now, it's most likely going to drop. DMC. DMC is still flatlining over here. Not much action yet. So it's going to be wait and see for this stock. Still 50-50. It's just right at the MA20 line with no volume. So... Uh, I don't expect much movement as of yet for this stock. We might see some more sideways uh, movement here. So four, um, but definitely if you want to start accumulating, this is an area to closely consider where our RSI is looking good. So the, the it complements where it is at right now. So flat line consolidating at that area but momentum is starting to pick up that means a lot of people are already showing interest here and uh, buying more volume but we need more as in more for this stock to, uh, to push the price higher uh, let's talk about uh, AXLM okay profit taking uh, four days or five days of green so most likely it'll um, take profit. We have a red today. This is the first sign of uh, weakness. So I just feel like we might have more profit taking uh, sentiment uh, tomorrow. So check out what happens around 2.57. Uh, let's see if that is an area of possible bounce in our Fibonacci tool. So if I use just the body here, I also put the body there. There. Okay. So according to, what if I use the wick? Yeah, I'll just use the body. So according to our Fibonacci, so we don't confuse you. Okay, so this is the next area of possible bounce. So when it drops, let's see what happens around the 2.51 level. Let us see if it will create a bounce, a bounce right at that area. I like what's happening here as well. You see that the... Um, trend line is uh, moving up so in case it goes down this is a most likely where the MA20 line is going to drop no it is going to drop around the MA20 level okay next we love this stock right now hot stock okay Dito very very good move so I was able to um, uh, 
um, do live today. And uh, I think it was at the brink of uh, really doing a breakout when we, we did, I did the live today. So I don't know right after that because I had to fix myself because I, I need to uh, start working. It's just my break time today, by the way. Um, so yeah, it's a breakout. Another breakout for, for this talk today. Um, I really hope that it doesn't fill the gap anymore. It will continue to move higher, but um, it might not happen tomorrow. But there is a gap here. So just closely monitor that if you are still interested in uh, trading this stock, this stock is already um, a bit high. So if your objective is just to trade, make sure to closely monitor the market, okay? Closely monitor the market because anything can happen. There are 14,000 trades. 